we have plenty of enemies. How about? We're starting it off with killing their most fragile ones. Hopefully that assassin will not do anything. He's bleeding, so he sh should just move and die. Yeah, there you go. Uh, we could move into the middle, but that hodlum here will the, uh, almost guarantee begin to attack us. Not generally, not a bad move though. Moves to the center, gets the leader off guard. And listen, we're already taking damage, might as well weaken that leader. So that'll be a backstab, for sure. Next up, the po uh, poacher will try to do his uh, thing. But, I can already see that. Now we won't get him down, but we can bind him into melee. Well, maybe we can get him down. He needs a crit, though. It's okay. We're taking that. Uh, we're going to take some damage, but the poacher will die. Okay, cool. I don't want to be hit um, with a multi-attack, so instead we're going in with defensive stance and nicely hit him with fragility. Good. All he can do now is hit once, but he hits hard. Holy shit, that's a lot of damage. And 17 points of damage for one hand weapon with fragility. Oh, that's a lot of damage as well. be able to reach us and of course I'm wrong he very much is able to reach us and hurts like crazy need to deal more damage. This here is decent, but we can do much better. Um, I don't want to be hit from behind, I think, although this will hurt. It would hurt even more getting hit from behind. Pretty good.
Fantastic. Finally, enemies are falling. Need to find the solution for this guy here. Crit. Into going back over here and we are standing all the way over there. thing is crazy you can throw it as often as you want good everybody becomes orderly Okay, I see. For attacking him, we're getting poison sticks. Interesting. Here's that helmet again. Okay. Fights are taking slightly longer, but not like outrageously longer. Good. Aggressive stance. Bam, 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 bam. Yeah, that's good DPS. I can definitely uh, see this one working out in the arena. There we go. Got a new one hand weapon. Uh, yep, it's the venom venomous coating again. Now, for the time, because I don't want to use too many tools we're going to switch to manual repair mode which is a bit more efficient since we're repairing 30 a pop sometimes we're just leaving it with 30 um okay So the idea is we want to uh, still explore the rest here. Starting with some fishing. I think we are out of hooks, aren't we? No, we're still okay. Cool. Okay, get that beast. And now I'm happy that we did not change uh, professions because as you can see, super helpful 
to level up. No one, by the way. I might stay with a thief for now until we are resting again. Although, I might forget it, so... Go for Tinkerer, and before I forget it... Whenever they are no longer having the prof uh, uh, profession, they will move away from the profession only uh, things, in this case the workshop. Now, workshop offers us a really steady supply of tools which I think is what we need at this point. Get a little medicine going. Like it. In the name of the eye, please tell me you're seriously injured. I can Whenever this unit knocks an enemy back, they have 50% chance to apply destabilization. That's not bad for our ranger. Yeah, that's not bad at all. What I would say is this here is a perfect option to also offload some of our stuff. But we're going to get the rest eventually. Let's hear what Helios has to say. Population 59. The people of Balerion are nothing but gullible cowards. Balerians and Irias alike. They're not real safe. I'm offering a reward that would make any broker council turn green with envy to any captain who can get me to Ferreth Island. But because this quote unquote curse, no sailor on you. You. Okay. Yeah, we're going to do ah, that. The moment I saw you, I knew you were made of sterner stuff. Let's set sail right away. Uh, what sort of shapes your boat in? Not that I'm afraid or anything. It's just that the seas here are teeming with pirates and reefs. Good. You might want to upgrade you. We need uh, the steel ram, which we, by the way, have gotten. So all we need is a little bit better... It's a little bit better... Uh, stone, aka sandstone, which we get on higher levels with uh, the miner. So it sort of bites us a little bit in, in the rear that we haven't really leveled the mining profession all too much. Now that's unfortunate. Okay, we can come back. I wonder. Yeah, that's the edge of the map. That's why they don't really show that much here. Um, you know what? I think given uh, our situation... We might call it a day and our next episode uh, will be the arena because I want new fist weapons, that's highest priority. And then we'll take it from there. Until then, guys, thank you so much for watching. Appreciate you. If you appreciate the playthrough, leave a comment and a like down below. And see you in the next episode. Bye bye. Yar, hello and welcome back to another episode of War Tales, Pirates of uh, Balerion. My name is Iken, and today we're continuing the DLC playthrough. It is time for the Balerion uh, Arena, I suppose, Anyone where this time pugilists go at one another. And let's just double check that we have the right uh, team. I think instead of an executioner, I would really like to take captain the unit is registered okay I see so uh, we need to 
teleport him out and take the bruiser in. We got the right skills. Everybody is repaired and ready. And let's give it a go. Let's give it a go. The pugilists so far are fun. They are less OP than I thought. I, uh, from meeting them, I always thought, oh my gosh, they are like crazily OP. But I think they're okay. Thinking. Take one out immediately, but we would need to deal with hit. I think we're doing that. Good. Casey Lach already has gone, so she, can, uh, she can't be in combat. I think we're losing out on that reward. But that's okay. Let's see if we can get uh, Vika down. The answer for no is now. Uh, for now is no. Uh, got her nice early, but uh, ultimately couldn't finish the job. Get you guys to orderly. of hits and this might be a kill yep there we go good job and we're just standing over here basically protecting that flank okay not too bad uh, I tell you what, you lose your guard, and then we're hitting you, and I think that's already it. Ithis here, takes a nice crit to the face, bleeds, disengaging, and slowed down. Good. He's out as well. We're switching to defensive stance because uh, that will apply fragility. Yeah, Jim is tanking very well. The, um, with the new equipment, it seems uh, that they have kind of evened the playing field for the tanks. All of them are tanking very well. Beforehand, the Brood was kind of the ultimate tank. No one was tanking as well as they did. And the Swordsman was more kind of uh, the retaliation 
uh, tank where you were always building to engage, disengage, engage, disengage. Strength of the companions increases, or every time a companion is attacked, they gain fury. I think we're taking the fury part. Continuing with uh, repairs, and we want healing here. And a lot of Valor. Good, yet another mixed arena here. Yeah, I think that starting point is good. Munich must be engaged in combat. So this guy here. At the end of the turn. Thanks to our high speed, we can now move through the entire arena, which is great. I think we want to get uh, Illarest down next. Can we get him down though? Not sure. Going to see. Nice bleeding hit. Uh, let me think. You get orderly. Don't want to yet engage. Okay, if that's a crit, we might be able to get him down. Yeah, now the dagger is just not uh, dishing out enough damage. Okay, so we're disarmed. Listen, let's hit this guy. Let's try to finish him. Are you kidding me? One short, literally one short. Positioning ourselves here, passing on burning <coughs> to that guy. Get the guard off. Hit and taunt and we're done. Their crit. Into pushback. Into moving over here. Okay, unfortunately, we're now also fragile. Good, but we put him out of uh, his misery, and so far we're doing actually quite well.
I don't want to burn, so we're slightly keeping our distance. And weakening him going forward. There we go. Every time a companion lands a critical hit, they gain rage. That is good, as long as the enemy is surrounded. Now we're going to take the crit because we want rage. Heal the unit. Heal this unit and we're repairing. And off we go for round number three. Good, we got the right uh, position. This time Rogan over here will start, but it really doesn't change the initial start. Beetha needs to die. Unfortunately, he has a few more hit points now, so it doesn't die as easy. So you can see... With an increase in enemy level, it's just the overall hit point pool goes up, right? change the fact that we need to kill each and every one of uh, these guys. Good. We nicely got them. But unfortunately, no dice there. Can we kill uh, Jonas? Maybe, maybe. don't have guard anymore so the aggressive stance won't matter as much hey we clutched it out Moves over here, and we're still trying to finish our turn next to someone. Get rid of the guard. Hit this guy. I wanted to do taunt, but never mind. Good. Next round, Rogan. It's full crit because hasn't been damaged yet. Follow up by another crit for almost a hundred. That was illegal. So much damage. Cool. We're still in defensive uh, stance, which means this year will. Oh. Oh. 
Yeah, well, listen, what can I say? I don't make the rules. That was nasty. Fulfilling a requirement against Snare. Every time a companion uses one or more Valor points, they gain protection for one round. That's great. Heal armor, heal armor. And we're seeing the champion. Let's go, boys. Good. Time for the champion, Oris. Let's see what she can do. Deals 10 damage to the target two times. It takes uh, one extra time for each delirium. And uh, she gains two delirium if gone into the defensive stance, which means she will attack more and more and more. Okay. The unit also deals an amount of damage equal to 5% of target maximum health. That's not good. Each time it's applied, you can perform attacks of opportunity after using a skill. I think hot blooded stick, uh, stacks as well, and hard boiled um, damage taken by this unit in a single attack cannot exceed 10% of their maximum health. Hmm. Looks like a non fun encounter. Is Noodle Keeper not healed? Okay, whatever. If we crit her, she starts to bleed. And then we're pushing her over to our tank. Good start. I'm not sure how to play that. I think we will need to get her debuffed as much as possible, but you can already see that the delirium stacks are real. Every time applied you can perform an additional hysterical pummeling. You can't disarm her, so that's not an option. You can get rid of her guard. That definitely is an option. She's now destabilized. Doesn't take away her histori uh, hysterical pummeling, though. Yeah, we're just going to take a lot of damage. Two more delirium stacks. She's now at four, which means more damage. Little keeper comes in, aggressive stance from the back. One, two, three, four. Does she build up rage on top of? No way. She has twelve points of rage. You're kidding me, right? That means her damage will stick up. Which also means less attacks are better. Well, we're not necessarily a great group for less attacks, I can tell you that much. Big fat nasty crits are not coming in from this team. Definitely fire because she will take damage with burning. She's now at 14 sticks with rage. Uh, but I need to deal damage. This should not give her rage stick, right? Okay, so that's circumventing the rage problem. Just a little extra damage. Look, I'm seeing se uh, severe issues. 
hopefully the support will help. And that's what I thought. Lots and lots and lots of damage. Okay, ranged attacks apparently don't trigger rage. Or 16 rage is the absolute maximum that she can get. I don't know. zero to hero and just one go and the rage doesn't even stop there I don't think that we can win that um, defensive stance of hits, more rage, wonderful. Now we're going to be completely pummeled. Okay. Let a defeat get you down. Train up and come back to chat. Well, didn't work according to plan. Sorry, but the. I do have an idea, though. We did have that helmet that applied poison on hit. If she hits that often, she would absolutely poison herself. That's not a bad idea. And I'm thinking might also not hmm, whom would we uh, whom would we change out uh, or exchange? We might not go in with an assassin. Not that the assassin is an inherently bad character, but he attacks often, and as we have learned, many attacks equals no bueno. Okay, let's get that helmet. I think we don't have it here anymore, right? Right. Too bad. That was a great helmet, but I know uh, where we sold it. So let me get that back, and whilst we're at it, we really emptied all of the rum again. It appears to be that way. All right, getting our stuff back. All right, it took a while. I grinded longer than expected, upgraded the weapons, and got ourselves uh, the helmet. Although I'm not sure, after thinking about, I got a new helmet when uh, doing all of the chores. Uh, which provides more guard and more armor. But on the other hand, yeah, without the poison, I 
don't see her going down. Let's try this. So we got the helmet here. Couldn't purchase it uh, off of the person, so I needed to steal it. Typically not a big fan of the whole stealing, as you, uh, as you know, this is a stealing a free playthrough. But yeah, what can we do? So, Everyone now we need to Jack set up a team, and I'm wondering, since she gets rage stacks from every single melee attack apparently i'm wondering to which degree it might just be better to use our uh two-handed aoe uh aoe attack with the cleaver hmm. i don't know on the other hand we're creating with the assassin we're creating bleeding so that's something that is clearly going for us. Hmm. Yeah, I don't... I don't like it. Uh, we need to make a forced decision here. I think... All things considered, the Assassin might be the stronger pick. If we're now having the Poison Helmet, that also uh, works well with a Dagger. So... Let's do the salty, uh, the salty run back. Just like in League of Legends, if you lose the first two times with these uh, absolute same composition, just run it back for good measure. Okay. The weapon upgrade definitely helps because that in itself, just up to date weapons, will make the whole fight a little bit easier. All of this is adaptive, so there isn't any kind of out leveling of the arena. And these guys, just for hitting, are getting a lot of poison sticks. I like it. does killing the enemy in one go that's helpful that by the way also hasn't happened the last time that we were staying here gnome definitely works uh, works well killed all of them in just one round we're definitely uh, the equipment definitely makes a difference but I'm not sure if it will make enough in order to get her down maybe she's just strong at the moment in which case rest assured I'll come up with a strategy of still fighting her because I cannot accept to be beaten on neither difficulty let alone on the hardest Good, take guard away. The poisoning seems to work reasonably well, also dealing a good amount of damage. Together with the bleeding, that should work out very well. So, first fight, definitely in our favor.
Every time a companion uses one or more Valor points, they gain protection. I think that is important. Repair armor, repair armor, and get more Valor points, and we're good to go. Let's go, boys. Okay, similar setup as before. Wow, almost Leafy killed her. I have to wonder. This might work. Good, we're seeing a lot of poison on him. Fantastic. Directly killed her. Oh, Lord. Nice. Very good damage. One hit point, really. Well, good. We're taking defensive stance, giving him fr uh, fragility. couple of extra hits. Thank you. Bit of a scrappy fight overall. But we killed both two. I think the way that I solved uh, the fight the last time was cleaner. Good end of turn. Moving over. We're going to take this guy over. Nice little destabilization. Hits, but nothing major. Very good. Every time a, a companion lands a crit, they gain rage. Uh, I think we're still taking that. Armor, healing, armor. 
All right, let's go. To redo what we did. Hit here. Into a straight kill. Lovely. Should have potentially gotten more offense. Hope we can equip a gnome in between the matches, elsewise, this is going to suck. Good. Defense stance. Let's go. One, two, three. Couple of hits. And another one. Good, these guys are definitely stronger than the others. But still well within our means. Fantastic. Good hits overall. Straight up decimated that, uh, this guy's hit points. Hit, hit, weaken, and we should be good. The poison is not bad. Gets a lot of stacks. Take stance. On two. And gone. All enemies start with vulnerability. I think that's not bad. Heal, heal. And... Can you please use a different offhand? Thank you. Good. We got the sickles. And the reason why I would want to do the sickles is... This deals... Both of them deal de uh, decent damage. Um, ignores guard, which is great. And has a 30% chance to apply a random debuff that could be disarming, blind, poison, or whatnot. Anything really is going to help us.
Good. Champion time. Let's go. Okay, here we go. Unfortunately, the computer uh, collapsed at the beginning of the fight, and when I reloaded, I needed to do the fights yet again. That is very unfortunate. I forgot for full transparency to change the helmet, so everything else pretty much as is. Let's hope we can do it without the helmet. Hard and heavy hitting. That's the name of the game. Good. All of the hits apparently are um, getting her rage bar up. So let's see how well we can tank her. Good. Jim weakens her. On top of that, destabilization. How does she build up rage? Yeah, I would like to understand the mechanic because then I would not try to trigger it, but this here seems like... No, that hit indeed triggered rage. Not sure if 23 was really worth picking up the rage. At the moment it's still fine, but it gets progressively worse and that's the problem. Crits definitely uh, trigger rage. The sickle. She's dazed. What does daze do? This unit's next attack of opportunity deals no damage. That is fantastic. I hope we can get a little bit more. Both. random debuffs because I think all of her, her extra attacks are considered attacks of opportunity good we're now supporting him okay I stand corrected uh, that's not an extra attack She gets the fragile debuff, but with 16 rage stacks, that is quite a bit to stomach. So we know that when Noodle Keeper dies, this thing here is over. But to be fair, once Jim is out of commission, that thing here seems to be very over. bit extra healing there she slowed down and at 20 I wonder Listen, do, are we going in and letting inappropriate Murphy essentially just get beat to shreds? Can we deal 450 damage? Murphy had his round. From that standpoint, I think we're just going to sacrifice Murphy.
Good. Weakening. Another hit. And yet another one. And although I know that protection won't do anything, might do something for the uh, for a follow-up hit. We survive. We're out. She's already bleeding. I need a really good debuff now. What did she get? Weakened. Fragile. Destabilized. Slowed. And bleeding. possible with the right amount of luck to, to do this. I'm out of I'm out of skills. There's no way that we're going to survive that. Now it's up to the brawl. 14 Does she have guard? No Fragility Then switch to attack stance and Give her a really hard time. All right, come on Take stance There's the extra attack that was helpful. All right, it boils down to this. Disengage, one hit, won't kill us. She is slowed, I think. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Oh, yeah, okay. You're amazing, mercenaries. I've seen many warriors fight here, but none of them could hold a cap. Oris's weapon is yours, as custom dig. Nice, we got the nice ripper, the gluten ripper. Gimme, gimme, gimme. Level six required. Well, that will happen soon. And then you, Noodle, finally will hit like a big boy. Legendary upgradable weapon. I saw you in the arena before. That was one hell of a show. Good. Uh, what do we have here? User is knocked back twice as far. That would be great. Uh, don't have the race attack. If this unit is in an area of effect of a bordering attack, bordering attack the unit takes 10% damage. Yeah, that's very niche, I would say. But that one is good. Oh, and we didn't even... We didn't even fight with the right skill. Never mind. Okay, so that's actually quite good. Leather and sandstone. And speaking about sandstone, because a lot of the things that require sandstone, 
<clears throat> that's going to be our next big gig as we are going into the runes I decided that's going to be a fun little project uh, once we're uh, once we're there in the meantime we're going back on board wow that was a really cool and close arena moving away from her she was slowed and was uh, ultimately taking so much damage that she couldn't she just couldn't uh, withstand it that was fun and we got a couple of uh, good offense as uh, used as well so yeah overall successful fight good knock everybody I like it uh, and if you liked it as much as I did, uh, leave a comment and a like down below. And see you all in the next episode. Take care. Bye-bye.